We are in the bye week here in Colts franchise here in week 11, a late bye week. And as you guys see the rankings, offensive points per game are actually seventh, which is pretty good. Our offense has been much, much better these last few weeks. And that has really bumped us up because that wasn't at seven a few weeks ago. That was at like 20. So it's a big improvement. Passing yards per game, we're throwing the ball a lot because we have to. Our defense won't get stops. <laughs> so we've had to throw the ball a lot, gaining a lot of yards off of that. Uh, and then offensive or rushing yards per game, we're actually fifth. Now, a lot of that is due to Anthony Richardson. And when you have a quarterback that can run like him, you're going to be up there in the top 10 in rushing yards per game. So those are good signs. We're young on the offensive side of things. But we're getting better and that's good the offensive line needs to stay healthy but we're improving offensively we need a running back in the draft at some point and we could use another receiver Pittman has played well these last uh, couple of weeks downs has been solid but i think having alec pierce just hasn't really done what i was hoping so maybe going out and getting a true number one receiver because Pittman, i don't know if he's a true number one we'll see by the end of the year but that could be something that we look to improve. Obviously, running back is a need and possibly tight end. I want to see more of Granson, man. I, he played so well. I want to see more of him. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe we're good with Jelani Woods and Granson at tight end. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the offense. Defense, we're not good. We're last in points per game. We're last in defensive passing yards per game. And we're 27th in defensive rushing yards per game. Now, we are... Did trade Grover Stewart. That hurt. Uh, we traded uh, a couple of starting safeties. So we're starting, you know, a second year, actually two second year guys as safety. So not great there. Obviously, a rookie uh, defensive end in Odengbo, Quiddy Pays Young. I mean, two rookie corners are, are our boundary corners with Kenny Moore in the slot and our inside linebackers. Other than Leonard, we're not really good there. So. The defense has a long way to go, and we're going to have to really build that uh, that group up. But I want to show you guys something real quick. Anthony Richardson did get Offensive Player of the Week. He was 15 of 27, 296 yards, four passing touchdowns, and he ran for 80 yards and a rushing touchdown. Five total touchdowns for Anthony Richardson. I mean, he was outstanding. These past few weeks, actually, he's been really good. Two straight weeks. Where he's the offensive player of the week, 322 yards passing, three touchdowns, was sacked five times, eight carries, 51 yards rushing, and a rushing touchdown. Uh, and then uh, in week seven, he was also a player of the week, 266, three touchdowns, one pick, five sacks, uh, ran for 91 yards, and a rushing touchdown. He was awesome. Just wanted to point out, uh, Tennessee, when they played against us, had the player of the week on both offense and defense, so... That's super exciting. So anyways, I thought that was cool to to kind of catch up and, and see. And uh, it's I'm I'm glad that our offense has gotten better, right? I, I feel like there was a couple of weeks there where it really struggled, but we're getting better. Here's a wide receiver now. Again, we're going to go to the 2024 draft class. So this probably doesn't this doesn't matter at all. But uh, these kind of stink anyways, right? Like he gives us some crappy receiver and we say, no, you're an idiot. Like, these these guys stink. I don't know. Uh, we'll worry about that next season. I know some of you wanted a uh, auto-generated draft class, but I think we're going to change it up this year. Do the actual real draft class and, you know, go from there. So, um, let's go. Ooh, stay grinding. Morale. Our morale is really low, but you know what? The season's lost. We're going to get as much XP as we can. Extra work put in during the bye week has paid off, plus 500 XP for all players. We are burnt out, minus 7 stamina for all players. So, that's not great, but uh, that's alright. Okay, focus player doesn't matter because of, you know, what we're doing. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get these drills out of the way. And uh, actually, do we not do drills? We might actually. I don't know. Um, player health, though, we're going to do half pads uh during the bye week as well just to make sure that we're not fatigued and nothing 
crazy happens with injuries. Bye week is complete. We are on to week number 12, and we play the 2-8 and eight Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So this is actually kind of a big game. Look, I'm never going to lose on purpose, all right? We are going to try to win, but but uh, if we look at the standings here, I mean, we're in contention to get that first overall pick, which would be pretty crazy to get. Yeah, it's us and it's we're literally the two teams fighting for the number one overall pick. So, like I said, I'm not going to lose on purpose. I will try and I will always try. Um, by the way, we've given up the most points in the league by far. <laughs> by by almost 50. Goodness. Holy moly. That is not great. Um, anyways. Yeesh. I mean, we're one of the better offenses, but... Good lord, the Bears have barely put up 100. The Bucks' offense is really bad. Okay, so that's an advantage that we... Well, if their offense tears our defense apart, I'm going to be very, very, very sad. Very sad. Anyways, we got to break out DB. We can win this game. Their defense, though, is better, so our offense got to step up. Coach, I just want to say I really like the defensive schemes we've been running recently. Last week was the best game I've played all year. I feel like I'm finally figuring things out, you know. Uh, another game like last week and man i'll feel like i've arrived now nick cross this would be awesome for nick cross last week i believe was his for no i think he's been starting for two weeks now uh but holding the bucks less than 200 passing yards or getting nick cross one just one play have him make one play i think that's doable and he can get star dev so at that point i don't think we can say like oh our Safeties are set in stone. We just got to develop them, but we could be on that path at least, right? Coach protection for the quarterback was a major issue this week uh, as he's turning a high volume of sacks. Where do your struggles start? I'm going to blame the offensive line because I don't want inaccurate, more inaccurate throws from Richardson. So the morale is going to be down. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to just stay the course and hopefully the morale doesn't go down too much. It's going to be minus five. Uh, we got to beat the Bucks. Eliminating sacks will give a temporary boost to the offense line. So if we can limit the sacks, although this is not a team where it's going to be easy to limit those sacks, this might be another tandem breakout for uh, Downs, which be which would be really nice to get him going. And it is. So kind of the same thing. We're going to challenge uh, Downs, see if we can get him his 100 and what? I think he needs 150 yards. Uh, Pittman is our next P. Yeah, 150. I don't know. That's that's gonna be tough. We'll we'll try to target him. Uh, but I don't know. That that's gonna be that's gonna be really tough. So we're gonna go with forcing three turnovers this week. Um, allow less than 20. I think it's actually doable. And then we'll go for the normal amount of yards here. And hopefully, we can get those done. And let's go ahead and do a second set of mini games. I don't really show the drills anymore just because they're really easy. Um, I've kind of just mastered them, uh, especially with these three players. I'm, I'm not sure when I'm going to change it up and put different players uh, as far as these. So let me know in the comments below because right now I still have Odangbo, uh, Richardson, and Downs. Downs I could probably keep on here, but now that Richardson and Odangbo both have superstar dev, I don't know. Uh, I don't think we really need him uh, on here, and we could go to go to some other players. Maybe we go to Quiddy Pay instead of Odangbo, and then maybe we go with. Uh, oh, I didn't check the defense, so hopefully there's no injuries on the defense. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what other players you would like to see uh, as far as uh, getting XP. Maybe we go with the rookie with the rookie corners with Rush and uh, Brents. Maybe we do something like that. I don't know. Uh, Odengbo, though, he's playing... He's going to be a 70. So he's a 78 right now. Uh, what's his finesse moves? 84. Okay, is it not counting? I thought we got bonuses for finesse moves. Or is that gone now? Uh, let's let's just do speed rush until maybe he hits like 90 finesse moves. And then we'll start looking at uh, getting his power moves up. But 86 finesse moves, which is great. I thought like the assistant coaches, we had a boost with that. I could be wrong. I, I could have swore we, we did. Maybe it's not working or something. I don't know. 
Uh, for Richardson, I'm going to continue to do Improviser. His accuracies are fine, but we need under pressure and throwing the run up. Like those are those are the two big ones. So let's go ahead and do Improviser. And hopefully we can get those two. We get under pressure plus one. So we'll take that accuracy deep plus two. So obviously with him getting superstar, that's going to uh, that's going to help his progression. Blake Freeland, we're going to do pass protection. He's at a, he's playing down to a 70, but he's a 71. So his progression has been pretty good too. Uh, now he only has normal dev, so I don't know. He's probably not going to be a long-term, uh, fix at right tackle. I mean, if he had star dev, then maybe, but same with EJ speed. He's not going to be a long-term fix there will fries let's just i mean he's our he's a backup let's just get his pass protection up because when our guys get hurt he needs to come in and do something because lately he hasn't done anything <laughs> so it's been a little frustrating with will fries but anyways that should do it let's get on to this game here in week number 12 underway here in tampa bay and tampa bay will start out with possession and this is going to be an inaccurate throw from baker mayfield who by the way i accidentally skipped over it but i think he has like 2,000 yards passing like 10 picks and eight inner or eight touchdowns something something like that i can't remember but i accidentally skipped it it was it was really fast so anyways second 10 also as you guys can tell no deforest buckner up the middle he did get injured during the weekly uh whatever injuries and now Adebaro gets hurt so his backup that's awesome yeah I don't know if we're gonna be able to stop the run are they going no hut no never mind they're not I just must press a and select the random play so that's cool anyways so not great Mike Evans with the catch there he was wide open and it'll be a gain of 17 on third down so yeah, I don't know how we're going to get pressure. I don't know how we're going to stop the run. Um, so, today's off to a great start. And White gets to the outside. No one can tackle. And that will be a first down. We'll bring back Adebarway. Hopefully he doesn't get hurt again. But, I mean, you can really tell... A big difference when DeForest Buckner is not out there, huh? Like, yeesh. There was a nice play by Leonard. Will be a loss of two. I mean, if we can stop the run and put them in, you know, passing situations, blitz Baker and, and maybe make some plays in the secondary, I guess that, that would have to be kind of the option here. And another missed tackle. No one can tackle. It's a gain of 25. Tackling does not exist on our team. It just does not exist. It is a myth. It is just no one. No one makes a play. Adebarre makes a play. It's a gain of one. But. Yup. Glad to see the tackling is. Uh, back to how it was in Madden 23. Ever since we played. The Titans, really. And that's behind Kenny Moore. Doesn't do anything. And that's going to be a touchdown. So Tampa Bay goes up 7-0 immediately. This defense is brutal without DeForest Buckner. This is going to be a long, long day. Bad return there. And Anthony Richardson will head onto the field at the 17-yard line, which is fantastic. Here's his numbers. 2,600 yards exactly. Kind of cool. 17 touchdowns, 16 interceptions. Really want to keep the the interceptions down here the last few weeks. That'd be that'd be great. That'd be great if we could do that. Don't want to hit 20. Although, you know what? <laughs> Maybe we break the record and Peyton Manning's like, thank you. Thank you for breaking the record. I've been waiting for years for someone to break my record. I, how many did he throw? Like 28? Something crazy? How did he throw 28 picks? Well, I guess we're on pace for that. So, never mind. I probably shouldn't ask. Third and one. Evan Hole goes nowhere on second and one. I might just run the ball. 
Although Vita Vea is pretty scary. We'll throw it. And we have Woods. He got stuck on a block, but we'll still have him. We have to kind of wait a little bit. It's a gain of six, and we have the first down. That pressure, though, is going to be kind of insane. Vita Vea, Shaq Leonard. I, I mean, Devin White at linebacker. I mean, it's that's a good, it's a good defense. Zach Moss, though, off to the left side gets a big run. Good to see Zach Moss with the with the good run there. Do I want to throw the ball on first down? Probably not. Let's go with halfback dive, and oh, that's not going to go anywhere. Evan Hole with two carries, and he's uh, lost two yards. Fantastic. Do I? Go with this crack toss on 2nd and 12. This is probably a bad idea. But you know what? Let's see if it works. Actually, good blocking. Make a man miss. No, he doesn't. We'll gain 4. It'll be 3rd and 8. Not the worst. Could be better. But it's not the worst. What do we like here? Don't really like Pittman. I don't like downs on that streak. I don't really like any of this. Um... Oh, we had Jelani Woods, but pressure's there with Vita Vea. We're going to try to run for the first down, and we got it. Use Richardson's legs. And uh, good things will happen if, if we use his ability to run. We had Jelani Woods open eventually, but Vita Vea was already in our face. Probably would have been inaccurate. Zach Moss off to the left, a gain of three. We run away from... Vita Vea, Devin White, Jack Leonard, or not Leonard, what? Um, now I'm, I'm, I'm blanking. Jack, whatever. Then we might have more success. I don't know. Third and six. Might have Pittman on this out if he runs a good route. He does, and it's inaccurate. Oh, my God. All right. It was a good route. Fourth and six. It's going to be a 57-yard field goal attempt. Oh, we have the wind. We should be able to make this. Field goal is up. No, I think that's short. That is short. Even with the wind. Adebarre is hurt again. Pass by Baker was knocked at the line. He had the slant open. Uh, I'm going to go zone here. And we'll use our Leonard. And that's vertical. Get pick it off. Oh my gosh! Julian Blackman was there. A foot sprain for Adebarre, so he's going to be out for the rest of the game. So our two starting defensive tackles are out. But hey, Baker Mayfield's on the other side, so we have a chance. <laughs> we have a chance. It's a good punt. It'll be out at the 13-yard line. So both possessions here. We haven't really had good field position. But hopefully we can have a good drive here and go down and score. A minute and 42 left in the first. And Evan Hole off the left side. Yeah, those runs off the left side aren't really working anymore. Second and eight. I kind of want to see if, like, maybe a bootleg would be nice. Uh, Where would that be here? Play action. Like, a, there's not actually a lot of bootlegs in this. Um... Hmm. What do I like here? Let's just go with this. And then we'll check down to Woods. By the way, Granson's back. Good to see him back. And yeah, let's just check down to Woods. Makes the catch. He'll be third and four. I don't know. I thought maybe a bootleg would, would be a good play there. But I don't know. I didn't really see anything. Third and four. Might just try to hit Pittman here on this drag. And eventually he could be open. No, it'll be another inaccurate throw. Had pressure. Just couldn't. Uh, it's just. Yeah, I watched him the whole way. I have no idea if anyone else was open. Oh, down goes Baker. And there's a flag. When you sacked him, you grabbed his face mask? What are you doing, Franklin? But I thought that was going to be unnecessary roughness because I dove at him after. <laughs> so I, I thought it was going to be actually on me. But a huge penalty. 
And White will get to the outside, breaks a tackle, and he'll have a first down. Big run from Rashad White. Oh, jeez. Down goes Baker. No, he doesn't. Now he does. Brian will have a half a sack. I'm not sure who's going to get credit for the other half. If it's going to be Odangbo or Pay, because Pay had him initially. I think Odangbo is going to actually get credit because he came in at the last second. I think. I think that's what's going to happen. And uh, they're going to run it. And Rashad White has nowhere to go. It'll be third and 21. Shaq Leonard there to make the tackle. And we'll just sit back in his zone. Don't do anything dumb, defense. Don't give up a big play. Just stay in front of everyone. And get after him. Quitty Pay can't get him down, but we'll take it. It's fourth and 21. Baker, two of six. That's the Baker Mayfield we know. There we go. And uh, we'll have another chance on offense here to not go anywhere. And it's a hell of a punt. Who is their punter? Jesus. We'll take off with Richardson, and he's going to have a decent gain. We'll have a first. Ah, they're going to give us a first down there. I don't think he actually got that, but we'll take it. That gives us some space there. Oh, what a run from Zach Moss. Reverses field. And that will be second in inches. Jelani Woods is hurt. Fantastic. Another injury. Love to see those. We're just going to hand it off to Jackson here up the middle. Get this first down. And he does have it as Evan White crushes him. But hey, we have the first down. A strain for Jelani Woods. So he's out. We'll go with another run. But hey, Granson's back. So that's fine. We'll see what Granson can do for us. As that carries up the middle for a gain of two. Third and five. I'm just going to run a screen here to Zach Moss. And see if we can get a third down conversion here. We should have it. Yeah, it's looking good. Move! Good lord. Zach Moss will have the first down. Richardson, three of five for 19 yards. I want to get his completion percentage up. I want to get the interceptions down. Like, if we can do those things, that'd be great. Actually, do I want to just get this to Pierce here? And I can't really go anywhere after that. It was a gain of one. Eh. Don't love it. We'll try another screen. And see if we can get past Barrett. He's going to actually back up. And get blocked. Zach Moss. Will have a gain of maybe seven. It'll be third and two. A lot of short passes. But hey, if we can gain some momentum from those you know, quick passes. Actually, I'm going to have Zach Moss running out here. Maybe great. Oh, shoot. Yeah, no, that works. I just, I saw Barrett back up. I was like, uh-oh. But I had already thrown it. It works out. Granson will have the first down. We'll take it. Hey, if we have to just quick, quick short passes for the rest of the year, that's what we're going to do. Going to hand it off to Hole, and Hole goes nowhere. Probably should have kept it with Richardson, but their run defense has been really good in this game, which puts a lot of pressure on throwing the ball. And that's why, you know, if we go just quick, quick throws, I know we need to get downs the ball too, which we can hear. But 150 yards is going to be tough. Third and six, we're going to go max protection here with Granson. And we have downs, and downs will drop it. It gets knocked out. All right, we'll have a 54-yard attempt here. And we are up against the wind. So hopefully we can hit this. And it is going to be good. Okay. We'll make it a 7-3 ball game. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Baker Mayfield's going to take off. And <laughs> it's a gain of 18. Oh, uh, we bit hard on the read option. I just didn't even consider the possibility of a read option. Damn. All right. Well, a big first down for Tampa Bay. And that's going to be incomplete. Mike Evans couldn't bring it in. 
The defense has been solid. Baker hasn't been very accurate, which is to be expected. But let's see if our defense can maybe make a play. Get a turnover or something. Right? I mean, he's thrown. Oh, my goodness. Godwin just flat out dropped that one. Yeesh. That was, uh, that, was, that was a bad drop. That was a really bad drop. Third and 10. See if our defense can get off the field here. And it's going to be a quick throw to Evans. That one's caught, and it'll be a first down. Damn. Third and four. I thought about bringing a lot of blit, uh, a lot of pressure. Well, probably wouldn't be pressure, actually, but whatever. It's going to be a quick throw to the outside. That's going to be caught. Be first and 10 at the 27-yard line, and Tampa Bay is having a really nice drive. Baker's had a couple of inaccurate throws, but other than those, it's been a good drive for them he's back to throw and that's gonna be incomplete got him in another drop kenny moore was there to make a play on it a minute and a half to go hopefully we can get the ball back here maybe get a stop and force him to kick a field goal and we'll call a timeout another out and it'll be third and two our defense just needs to make a play here uh, you know what? Let's go with um, these flats. Let's do let's do this, and let's go with let's go with that because it's probably going to be a quick throw here. Four seconds on the play clock, and oh my god, I saw it and I couldn't get back. And that's going to be a touchdown. I couldn't. I couldn't. The change of direction with Leonard wasn't quick enough. And Godwin's going to have a touchdown. Unbelievable. I was so focused on a quick throw on the outside. Oh. Tampa Bay is going to take a 14-3 lead. That's that's on me. I just. I couldn't. I couldn't get back fast enough. This is a great drive from Baker though. Nice run from Richardson. Four carries, 41 yards. And we're down to the 41-yard line here. And you know what? Let's go with this. See if we can hit maybe Pittman across. No, we kind of have downs. That's going to be not quite there. Oh, under pressure. And uh, it couldn't be accurate. But we had it. That's unfortunate. Second and 10. I'm just going to hit Granson here. It's inaccurate. <laughs> okay. Just just a random inaccurate throw there, huh? That's that's what the game's going to give us. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We kind of have Pittman. Tight window. And Pittman comes down with it. And he breaks free. Michael Pittman Jr. Touchdown. What a grab. He breaks the tackle. And Michael Pittman takes it. Woo! All right. A great throw. And an unbelievable broken tackle there to break free. And it will be 14-10 at the half. What a huge play. Third and four here to start the second half. I had Granson. Oh, we have uh, Pierce wide open, though. He'll have a first down. Alec Pierce getting involved. Richardson, 9 of 14, 107 yards and a touchdown. I've been so quick to get out of the pocket in this game. I mean, Vita Vea is just breaking right through. And obviously, that right side is the weak part of our offensive line. Uh, with Smith out, a rookie starting at right tackle. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, that's, that's why he's breaking through so quick. So we've we've been time has not been on our side that's that's for sure and we'll break through okay yeah jackson makes a catch what a throw and jackson goes down and uh or goes and runs it down nice play from him i kind of i really like this play i want to get this out to pierce and have him catch and run uh it just uh, it doesn't really go anywhere it's a gain of two I don't know. I, I like the thought of that play, I guess, but it just doesn't really work out. Let's go play action bunch here. 
I kind of like this. I want to get downs going too. I mean, we need, what, 150? And it's picked. Oh my god, I forced it. <sighs> I mean, that ball needs to be farther out. But that's a pick six. Zion McCollum with the pick six. And, um... Tampa Bay will take a 21-10 lead. I just, I forced it to downs because of the stupid ass challenge and <sighs> Tristan Wirfs is hurt. I guess that's good. Third and four, Richardson with an inaccurate throw uh, to a wide open Granson and that one's accurate, kind of, under pressure, poor accuracy. But Granson made the play and luckily the linebacker there wasn't uh, wasn't all the way on him there because that that probably would have been picked off Pittman over the middle and nice move by Michael Pittman he'll have a first down see we just need more of that just more accurate throws please please that'd be nice two catches 69 yards for for Michael Pittman obviously had the big play and downs is open but pressure gets there it'll be incomplete the run game has just been non-existent. Third and nine. Vita Vea makes a play on that one. I mean, we've... I don't think either of these... Uh, none of these routes are probably going to give us a first down here. Yeah, downs is not end. There's pressure right up the middle. Don't have time. At all. Just no time. Tristan Wirfs is still out of the game, and... You would think that we'd be able to get some pressure, but we haven't been able to. Baker's made some couple of couple of nice throws. Get a full start though. So we'll take that. It'll be first and 15. Watch the run here with Rashad White. Nope, they won't throw it. And that's gonna be wide open. Oh, okay. Deo Dingbo has been non-existent. Um, Quiddy Pay's been, I don't know, early on made a couple of nice plays. And that's over the middle. That's caught. Or a gain of four. But defense can't get a stop. And we're going to be potentially down by... What, 18 here soon? Oh, Dangbo started to get pressure, but... An unbelievable di diving throw that's accurate. <laughs> it's caught. Fantastic. Fantastic. First and 10 from the 13. I'm gonna move Odengbo more inside here, see if we can get pressure. And come on, there we go! There's a fumble! Jump on it! Quiddy Pay recovers it! Stay down! There we go! A turnover. Baker fumbles it. I'm not sure who made the original play there to force the fumble. Uh, it was it was Speed. Speed got there. Forced the fumble. I dove with Odengbo. Quiddy Pay is able to get there and recover it. A huge play by the defense. Finally. Finally we get pressure. And uh, we'll have a chance to cut this lead. Third and three. Wonder if Pittman, no, not on the release there. We have wide open tight end there. That's Mallory. And he will have a first down. Obviously, no Jelani Woods. He got injured early in the game, I believe. So, he's still up, but a nice play. We get across midfield. Try and get their momentum down here. Making some... I don't know. Making... Some place to get back into this game. Uh, we got to score here. We got to find a way to score. Second eight, the run game has pretty much been nothing though. I mean, Zach Moss, I guess his numbers are, are decent, but... Yeah. Uh, can I... No, that's incomplete. Almost picked off. I thought he was going to... I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. That was just a really dumb throw. That should have been picked off. What am I doing? Third and eight. Uh, we have Granson and Granson was wide open. 
wide open and we couldn't just give me some time offensive line please and now Rashad White has a huge run here oh and breaks Blackman's tackle Rashad White breaks another tackle because he's Derrick Henry and that's going to be a touchdown well that will uh, probably that'll probably do it third and eight we just got sacked so that's terrific just no time Shaq Barrett got right through We'll roll out. Yeah, no, Shaq Barrett's there. Uh, it's just... It's just... There's just nothing. There's just nothing. Um, the game wants us to go for it. Sure. Why not? Why not? Let's just give them more points. Why not? Uh, I'm just going to throw it up. To Pittman. And that's inaccurate. <laughs> Can't even throw an accurate, uh... Okay. Rashad White breaks another, like, 3,000 tackles. He's into the end zone. And, uh, yeah, we're making him look like... The greatest running back of all time. Like, he's out there looking like Derrick Henry, Barry Sanders... All combined in one. LT, he's just unreal. And there's a fumble. Richardson fumbles it, tried to slide it, wouldn't let me. And he fumbles it. So there's another turnover. And uh, yeah, we're getting blown out by the second worst team. And the only reason why they're the second worst team is because we are definitely the worst team. And that's open and down to the five yard line. Baker, no turnovers. I guess the, yeah, the, the, fumble on the sack but other than that I mean he's he's been good and uh you know this oh okay great great coverage Brents that you did a wonderful job there you were running the complete opposite direction and it will be 42 to 10 the second worst offense in the league just put up 42 points on us no DeForest Buckner so obviously that didn't help we have the worst defense in the league. Yep. Don't know what else to say about this one, guys. And they're still throwing the ball. That's another touchdown. We had a four and out. And, um, yeah, they've put 49 points on our ass. And they are still throwing the ball. First and ten, a minute and eight to go. And that's going to be inaccurate. Right when I start talking to... Uh, yeah, it's just... Oh. Now you're you're back to, you know, talking. Or are we going to have you throw an inaccurate pass? That's sweet. 34 seconds to go. Trying to get a garbage time touchdown. To uh, make me feel a little bit better, I guess. I don't. I don't really. I don't really know, man. I want to throw that to Pittman. Do I just do it? It's caught. That was a flag, though. Alec Pierce actually caught it. it. Was intended for Pittman, I think. Well, maybe I did throw it to Pierce. I have no idea. I'll go touch him because the idiot ran out of bounds. I mean. Okay, I guess. Uh, Guess we're still doing that in this game, huh? Alright. So, it will be 2nd and 10. Let's see if we can still get a garbage time touchdown here. Try to fit it in. No, it's picked. And I just threw my 2nd interception. And that will do it. We lose 49-10 to 10 to the 2nd worst team in the league. Richardson, 23 of 41 through 2 interceptions. Rashad White had 142 yards. Uh, 81 of that was off of one run. So, yep. Zach Moss, 46 yards rushing. Uh, Richardson, 48 yards rushing. Pittman, 5 for 100 and a touchdown. Downs, I, I, I don't know. Downs never got open. So, that's fantastic. Defensively, 7 tackles for Franklin. 2 TFLs. Odengbo had 2 TFLs. Half a sack. One sack for speed and Franklin. Half a sack for Brian and Odengbo. 
No picks. Uh, the forced fumble was by EJ Speed. Pay recovered it. One pass deflection, which was Blackman, but that will do it. That, that was a rough one, man. And uh, throwing that second pick really sucks, too. I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess we're going to have the number one pick, so that's cool. Dyer Franklin has an upgrade. We'll just give him run stopper. Not really a... Uh, someone that we're going to have in our future, so don't really care. And uh, yeah, just an awful loss. Um, don't think Nick Cross did squat. Uh, so, no, he did. He did something. Totally forgot about his upgrade, by the way. But he's up to silver uh, or silver star dev, which I guess is cool. Under Siege, I mean, our offense line was awful. I, I'm pretty sure they had like 10 sacks. I don't know. I know uh, Shaq Barrett had like three. So. Yeah. Um, after allowing three plus sacks, the offense line will receive a no temporary boost. Okay, well, at least our morale doesn't go down. It's already down, but whatever. Tandem breakout. We didn't... Downs didn't do anything. Uh, Pittman out, had another good game, though. 5 for 100 and a touchdown. So... Yeah. I mean... Just, um... Just another bad game. Here's a new injury. And it is... Adabare is out for five weeks. That's brutal. Um, but we will get Braden Smith and Buckner back next week. And I'm sure Braden Smith will get instantly injured against Tennessee. Oh boy, it's Tennessee next week. We're not winning the next three games. Tennessee, Cincinnati, Pittsburgh. Yeah, those are three losses. The Falcons, maybe. Maybe. Probably not, though. Uh, Derrick Henry, last time he we played against Tennessee, Derrick Henry ran for about 5,000 yards. So, that's going to be fun. We'll go with uh, upgrade Nick Cross here. He has four of these. So, we'll do zone on two of them. Maybe hybrid on two of them. Plus three awareness. We'll go hybrid here. He's up to a 75 overall, plus two man, plus one tackle, and plus one pursuit, plus one tackle, plus two man, plus one agility. So, yeah, I mean, only 21 years old. He's possibly, uh, possibly could have a good future with us. 92 speed, 77 uh, zone coverage. We'll see. Um, I mean, I like him, so hopefully... Hopefully it turns out uh, to be a, uh, a great career for uh, Nick Cross with the Indianapolis Colts. But we are 2-9, and nine, and we have sole possession of the number one overall pick. So, I guess that's good. <laughs> I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That like button if you did. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I will see you guys in week 13 against the Tennessee Titans.